So hi, my name is Dwayne Squires. My name is Richard Mews. I'm a partner at Property Result Investment. So this is going to be a short video explaining whether purchase lease options can provide a zero money down uh, strategy. So just to start off with, so where does that question even come from? Uh, well, prior to 2008, 2009, uh, a lot of what investors were doing at that time were using what we call a same-day remortgaging strategy. So they were buying a property at, say, uh, £80,000, using a deposit of £20,000. They would then remortgage it for the, for the full value and then being able to then recycle their mortgages, go into the next property. So now, now those, <laughs> since then, strategies and the ability to do so has changed quite significantly. And now one way to expand your portfolio is through lease options. So in answering the questions, is it possible? So in theory, yes, it is possible uh, to pay nothing down with a lease option. But theoretically, no, no, it's not possible because there are costs involved with doing such a, a lease option deal. So Richard, generally, is what, can you cover what the costs are for investors? Yeah, first of all, the, the first one is the consideration of the lease option fee payable to the vendor. Uh, this can vary from a pound, uh, usually up to a thousand pound, uh, depending on the, the deal and, and if there's more cash flow or, or more equity in there, mm. then that varies. And a, and a consideration can be uh, compared to, to as a deposit, really, yes, isn't it? Yes, that's right, that's right. And then there's legal fees involved as well. Uh, now, it's obviously, lease options are done by specialist solicitors, so you can expect to pay about £750 plus the VAT uh, for the legal fees, mm -hmm. uh, because they are a legal document and have to be done properly. Yeah. Uh, then there's the sourcing fee because we've obviously had to, uh, you know, negotiate with a vendor. A lot of running around and uh, overseeing these type of deals, uh, right through to the conclusion. Yeah. And obviously, what else you might have to consider in some deals is a refurbishment. Mm -hmm. uh, you might have to, you know, do a little bit of refurbishment. Uh, some deals we have uh, have a lot of refurbishment to do, mm -hmm. and. Uh, they tend to really stick a little bit. So uh, the ones with a small amount of refurbishment, five or six, seven hundred pound on an ordinary two-bed tourist house, you know, expect to pay that. Uh, so we all the costs up, uh, and then that will tell you, you know, wh whether you've got a, a good deal. But there is there is a cost involved. Yeah. So just to summarise, or if you put it together, so there's consideration, which is an, uh, akin to as a deposit. So even if you went at a small value, one pound, right? Yeah. Uh, legal fees will range around seven hundred and fifty pounds, including disbursement. So seven hundred and fifty pounds plus one pound, and then sourcing fees can range between uh, three to five thousand pounds. If you went on a lower end, three thousand pounds, and then a refurbishment, even if you did a light refurbishment, a hundred pounds. So when you stack that together, one pound seven fifty uh, plus sourcing fees of three thousand and the light refurbishment, you're looking at somewhere near to be to three thousand eight hundred pounds. Yeah, that's that's I think that's the minimum. You could be up to five thousand, mm. but you know, look to three to four thousand pounds round about that figure. For all the costs. For all the costs, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Thank you for watching our video. If you're thinking of investing in property, have you considered investing in North East? If you have or you haven't, why not check out the full video playlist we created, which gives you the full deep dive in investing in property in the Northeast. Check it out.